Well, hello and welcome back everyone. So this time we will work on how our ball will behave. So we have already created it in the last uh, episode. Uh, this is our ball. It's so tiny. And let's start first by... Uh, uh, I will talk you through how this will work. So um, we will have a, a trigger on our player that will uh, detect whether the ball is uh, in range or not. And when it is, uh, we will call a method that will add a force or uh, actually uh, modify the rigid body of the, the velocity of the ball. And then uh, it will fire. So what can we do first? Let's go to our player and add to him a box collider. Let's make it bigger and click all to uh, scale on both axes. That's about good. And check the is trigger. So it doesn't actually behave as a, as a physical obstacle. And then we can go back to our player script. And we can use the uh, method provided by, by Unity to us, which is called void on um, trigger enter, which takes, takes a parameter of type uh, collider that it's called other and we can test if this other dot compare tag but uh, what I have just written uh, enables us to, to test if uh, our other uh, object that we have just collided with has a tag of ball and then we can do some stuff so let's go back to unity first and create that tag so we click on our ball, see that we have an untagged uh, object and add tag, click, add ball, save. Great. And don't forget to assign it. And that's good. Go back to Visual Studio. Now, our ball will have a rigid body that will take care of the physics for us. And this rigid body has a velocity, of course. So. We will access that thing by typing other dot get component rigid body dot velocity and we will give it a value of um, some vector which will be a vector three not two let's call it direction dear which will be defaulted to the um, aim target that we have here this little thing and we will basically want to have a, uh, a sort of a line um, from our player for example if he is here to our target so something like that and we can have that by um, subtracting the position of the uh, target minus uh, our position so that will give us a vector pointing in that direction go back to visual studio so click um, type aim target dot position because it's already a transform so we don't have to type tar aim target dot transform dot position minus our transform dot position awesome and uh, inside the velocity we will type dear and i will normalize that so um, it doesn't get affected by distance. For example, if we are very far from um, our target, like like this, for example, then the the direction will be very big, and we will hit the ball with a lot of force. And I don't want that. So I will normalize the vector, which will make it uh, its values between zero and one, and Oops, I typed that wrong. Okay, now oh, come on. Okay, so 
<laughs> that was my bad. And then we will multiply it by some force. And let's declare this force as a float. Let's give it some value like 10, for example. And that should work. So let's go back to Unity and test this out. Okay, we are not colliding. Oh, we have forgotten to assign a rigid body to our ball. Okay, and let's decrease a little bit the uh, mass. So, great, we can hit our ball, but it doesn't go up. So, how can we fix that? I will just add some upward vector, which be, will be zero, something like five and zero. So, it's, it only has a force on the y axis, which will go up. Go back to Unity, click play. And let's try now. That is way too little. That's way too little. Okay, um, it's not bad, but it needs a little bit more of a push so the force would be something like 13 let's try that and 6 on the upward force okay let's try some Okay, let's try something like um, 13 and uh, 6, not 3, 6, go back to Unity and try again, awesome, great, that was perfect. So we only have a little problem that our ball doesn't bounce and we can fix that also by going uh, create and physics material, let's call it this one bounce and give it a bounciness of 1, 0 and 0 on the friction let's assign it to our ball by dragging and dropping it and let's even go and duplicate this physics material and decrease this to 0.6 and assign it to our ground let's try again Perfect, our ball now bounces, so it behaves more like a ball. Great, so what can we add? Mm, let's see, we can for example add uh, detect whether the ball has hit a wall or the net and uh, put it back to its position. So let's make a, another script, create and C sharp script, which will be our ball script and drag and drop it on our ball. Double click on that and go to our Visual Studio. So now, um, I will have a uh, vector 3, which will hold the initial position of our ball. So vector 3, initial position, uh, where we will uh, place back the ball. So in the start method, which will be called um, at the start of the game, we put initial pause equals transform dot position great we don't need the update and let's go back to unity <coughs> and we see here that uh, our walls have colliders on them and we will use that so let's click on them the four walls and edit the colliders and raise them up so even if our ball goes way up it still collides. Great. And then I will give them a tag. So, a tag of wall. Go back and assign that tag. And don't forget the net. Give it also a tag of wall. 
Great, go back to Visual Studio and let's type void on collision enter. Same thing, but this time uh, it collides and not only with triggers. So if other, um, sorry, collision dot um, transform dot compare tag. I, did, I didn't write compare tag directly because um, the collision doesn't have that available, so you have to access the transform. And then if it collides with a wall, what do we have to do? Very simple. We go get component rigid body on our ball and velocity and diff equal that to vector 3 dot 0, which is a vector of uh, 0 on the x, y, and z. Alright, after that, let's place it our ball at its initial position. That's perfect. Great. Let's try this. So, Unity again. And let's play. Great. Now let's aim a little bit. Perfect. Let's aim on the other way. <laughs> Great. So that works. Um, thank you for watching this video and we will see you in the next episode.